Hi, this is Janaki Ram. This is a screencast on uh, showing you how to migrate a LAMP application to Microsoft Windows Azure. There are four steps to migrate your existing LAMP application that runs on Windows Azure. Step one is launching the Linux virtual machine. Step two is opening the appropriate endpoints. This will ensure that we can log in using SSH and also open the appropriate ports for the HTTP and HTTPS. The third step is installing the web server, database, and the language runtime, which is primarily configuring the LAMP stack, and finally, setting up the web application. So let's get started. The very first step is launching the virtual machine. OK, here we are. This is my Ubuntu desktop, where I'm actually developing my LAMP application. So let me go ahead and show you my application running on the local host. So this is a simple e-commerce application that deals with selling electronic gadgets. Our goal is to successfully move this to another Ubuntu VM running on top of Microsoft Windows Azure. So as a first step, let me go ahead and sign into Windows Azure management portal. So here we are at windowsazure.com. I click on the portal link and that's going to prompt me to enter my live ID. So this is going to give us the interface to deal with the Windows Azure infrastructure. So once we sign in, we have the menu to access various services. So I choose compute virtual machine and I'm going to choose an image from the gallery. There are multiple flavors of images available from Microsoft Windows as well as Linux. So there is CentOS, there is SUSE, there is Ubuntu. So let me choose Ubuntu, click on next. And let me give a name to my VM. Let's call this Cloud Ready Shop. And I'm going to choose the username as Azure user and provide a password. And the next step is to choose the configuration. You can choose a VM all the way from an extra small to extra large. So I'm going to choose the small configuration, which comes with one core and 1.75 GB of memory. And if I want, I can also upload an SSH key, but I'm going to skip this, move to the next step. So this is where I'm going to give a DNS name, which will make our VM available at an endpoint. So let me try if I can get Cloud Ready Shop as the endpoint. So this is where our web application will be finally made available, cloudreadyshop.cloudapp.net. And I can choose an automatically generated storage account. And let me choose the location. So here, I'm going to use Southeast Asia, which is going to be the closest location from where I live. Choose the next. And I'm not going to create any availability set. In case I have more than one VM, this will ensure that there is no single point of failure. So now that I have completed the required three steps, I'm going to click on the complete button and this is going to start provisioning our VM. Okay, so the VM is now running. So let's click on this to explore some of the available options here. So the VM is currently available at a DNS endpoint, which is cloudreadyshop.cloudapp.net. It also has a public IP address. In case you want to wire up your custom domain, this could be the IP address, which is going to be wired up. And of course, there's an internal IP address that you may want to use when you are using multiple VMs. So this is going to be available only within the Azure infrastructure. And when you want to SSH, you can reach through this DNS name that's available to us. Now that our virtual machine is up and running, we'll go ahead and open port 22 for SSH, which must be already open, and also port 80 for HTTP. So let's click on endpoints and add an endpoint. So I choose the first option. Let me call this web and point this to port 80. Okay, now both the ports are available. We have port 22 and port 80 open. 
in the third step we will configure the LAMP stack this involves installing Apache MySQL and PHP okay so now that we have opened the appropriate ports let's go ahead and do an SSH so I'm going to use SSH from my local machine to the VM that we created so it's going to be SSH Azure user at cloudreadyshop.cloudapp.net so this is going to let us in after entering the password so there we go this is an indication that we have successfully logged into our newly created VM now that we have this in place it's time for us to configure the LAMP stack so I want to upload a script that will help us set up the LAMP stack pretty quickly so I want to upload a couple of files that's going to help us configure the LAMP stack so I'm going to use a command called SCP which is going to copy all the appropriate files into the remote VM so this is going to simply upload all the available files from the local directory into the VM so this is the easiest mechanism to export our website database and the setup script so let's come back to the VM and see if all the three files are copied successfully they are as we know there is setup.sh website.zip and db.sql now that we have this the very first step is to quickly become the root user by typing sudo hyphen i so that I can go ahead and configure the LAMP stack on this box so I move to Azure user home directory where we have these three files and run setup.sh so this is going to take a while to set up the entire LAMP stack okay so now the LAMP stack is fully configured with that it's time for us to check if Apache is successfully running so we switch to the browser again and type the cloud ready shop dot cloud app dot net URL that should show us the default page of Apache so this is an indication that Apache has been successfully set up so this completes the third step now that we have the web server database and the runtime configured it's time for us to export the web application and the database into our configured VM and import them into our database and web server so this is basically setting up the web application now we are on to the final step where we'll unzip the web directory or the web application to the appropriate directory and then we import the database into our local MySQL so we have everything that we need in the form of website.zip and db.sql so let me go ahead and type this command which is unzip website.zip hyphen d to move this into var w3 so this is going to unzip our web application into the appropriate directory let me also get rid of the index.htm which is going to show us the default page I don't want to see that when I do a local host or when I access this VM so I'm going to remove this and finally we need just need to run one command which is mysql hyphen u followed by root hyphen p and import the database into this so let me enter the password and this is going to import the database into the local mysql instance that's it now we should come back to this page and do a refresh so this is going to show us the same portal that's running on our local host but now on the cloud so this was the simplest way to migrate an existing LAMP application from the local host to an Azure virtual machine so that was a very quick demo of migrating an existing LAMP application to a VM running on Windows Azure. I hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching this. This is Janaki Ram signing off.